Are you stuck wondering if laser die cutting is the best way to build a gasket? Fortunately for you, in this video, we're gonna cover the pros and the cons of laser cutting gaskets. Many gaskets can be cut using laser die cutting. However, this is project specific. It depends on aspects like the material, how complex the project is, as well as tolerances that can affect whether you can laser die cut these materials or not. There can be a lot of benefits to laser die cutting your gaskets. Here are some of the pros that we see from our customers. The laser can achieve extremely accurate tight tolerances. You have the ability to cut highly intricate designs. You don't have any additional tooling. It's ideal for lower quantities or when tight tolerances or intricate designs are necessary. It's a cost-effective solution for achieving complex shapes. And it's great for building samples for testing different materials. When you think of laser die cut gaskets, you might be thinking of something that's rather large. However, laser actually performs better on complex, smaller parts. Unfortunately, there is no perfect method to making gaskets. Laser die cutting is no exception, and some of the biggest cons we see from our applications are, laser cutting is slower than rotary die cutting. You have a risk of burnt, melted, or curved edges from the nature of laser die cutting. There's a presence of soot and other residues which can decrease finish quality. And it's unsuitable for certain materials like metals and foils. It's important to note that laser die cutting can be far less clean than other methods like rotary and flatbed. If cleanliness is of particular importance in your application, this should be considered heavily. Most materials like adhesives, foams, and rubbers can be laser die cut relatively easily. However, there are materials like metals and foils that can be more difficult, especially when you're using something like Strauss uses, which is a CO2 laser. CO2 lasers have a lot of reflection off of metals and foils, which makes them unsuitable for laser die cutting. Other materials like PVC emit harmful gases when they are heated up, so they make it unsuitable for laser die cutting as well. Alternatives to laser die cutting include rotary die cutting, flatbed die cutting, as well as digital knife to some extent. Rotary die cutting is ideal for your higher volume projects because it has a much faster production rate. Flatbed die cutting is typically used as a lower volume alternative to laser die cutting, and it allows for quicker changeover from your tooling. Lastly, there's digital knife, which is a much slower production method compared to the alternatives. However, it doesn't require any tooling costs, and it's great for the sampling and prototyping stages where designs might change frequently. If you're interested in more information on laser cut gaskets, check out our learning center, which has countless articles on the different die cutting methods, as well as the materials that you might want to use. Thanks for watching.